10 cooking with bears episode 10 we got this far amazing hey thanks to the guys for their incredible playing and i hope you're enjoying all the tunes and uh, we've got a great meal for you tonight we're gonna do baz's blue-eyed cod and cauliflower cacciatore that boy's good just a really straight ahead fish dish it can work well with snapper ling fillets anything that will stay together when it's cooking this has got the gorgeous cauliflower i'm going to chop it in half and use the food processor to get some crumbs going and then the other ones will be just pieces of cauliflower florets a leek of course some little herbs in here which is what i've got from the garden which is tarragon leaves and a bit of dill so that'll go really well with the fish a can of cherry tomatoes a little bit of the old fish stock some some garlic, uh, a real fresh tomato to go with it. Look at that, blue-eyed cod. A little bit of stock and some lovely olives, about a half a cup, and that's it. So, okay, as they say in the menu, verse two, chopped up the garlic. This is half of that cauliflower, florets. And this one is like, I put it through the, it's a bit like rice, you know, I've just chopped up in the food process of the other half of the cauliflower. Sliced up the leek, ready to go with my tin of uh, cherry tomatoes. Chopped up a real tomato, you've got to have a little bit of that in there, don't you? And a little bit of stock if I need it. And of course, a few olives, beautiful. And my little herbs in there. Salt and pepper. And a little bit of that going. Yeah, fish sauce, yummy. So that's about it. Uh, we're about ready to go to the hot plate. Here we are at the hot plate. I'll just put the olive oil in there, probably about a, ooh, about a quarter of a cup, because there's quite a lot of. Uh, leeks and cauliflower to start off with. We'll throw the leeks in. Medium heat. Just get it going. Now, I reckon we might put the garlic in there. I love cauliflower, and cauliflower is really cool when you, when you want a bit of body and something like this. You know. Anyway, we'll put these in now. Let's put the tomato in. Look at that. Some gorgeous little cherry tomatoes. Uh, I reckon we should do the real tomatoes. Put them in. A bit of fish sauce. Not a lot, just a bit. There you go. Yeah. So I've turned it down a bit just to let it simmer away for a while. Salt and pepper. 
I've got my stock liquid in there because I've got we've still got the fish to go and the cauliflower florets. Let's, let's put the cauliflower. In. So while this is cooking, yeah, let's play a tune. This is looking really good. Oh, look at that. Now it's time to put the fish in. Okay, let's just get the fish in there while it's simmering away. So that'll just simmer away in my tarragon and dill now. And the last, which will be the olives. And what I'll do is I'll just put the top on, let that simmer away on low heat, maybe 15, 20 minutes, just simmer. Because the cauliflower is about half cooked right now, but by then we should have the fish cooked and the cauliflower at the same time, and it'll be really nice. Look at that. That looks incredible. Plate it over there. Chunks of the wide cut um, on there, and lots of sauce, which is lovely. Oh, I want plenty of that, so we can do that. That's it. Look at that. Maybe that's it. That's looking really good. Baguette with a bit of butter. You gotta have those for the dunking, don't you? And there you go. 
Thank you so much for watching us. Episode 10, Cooking with Bears. Really appreciate it. Lots of information coming up shortly about what we're up to for the next series of Cooking with Bears. See you later. Bye.